Damn it. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at one of Sims newest models for this year. It's actually, this is its first production year and that is the Jet X. Coming from the Jet 14, you will find a lot of things that are quite similar, but also a little bit different. It's a complete redesign of the exterior looks of the Scura, of the Jet 14. The frame has remained the same and so is the drivetrain but the body panels are all completely different. Nothing is the same, nothing is interchangeable. Everything is bespoke to this scooter when it comes to fairings, when it comes to dash, when it comes to handlebar, when it comes to tail, everything. The only thing that's carried over is the seat and the under seat storage, but that's about it. Everything else completely new for this. But. We're gonna take a look at it from front wheel to back wheel and let's get straight into it. Starting up front, we have the same 14 inch wheel with a 260 millimeter brake disc, full ABS, dual piston caliper. But that's about where the similarities end. The fender is completely different and this front fascia with this front LED lights with this Y shaped daytime running light are completely bespoke to this scooter. This windscreen also is not just a black piece, it's actually a bit transparent, it's smoked. Uh, the indicator lights here, they are also smoked. It also has hazard lights, which look really cool in this black color with the smoked out indicators. It just looks the business. Up top, the dashboard. The handlebar looks similar to the Jet 14 with the naked style handlebar but it is a little bit different this is actually two centimeters higher than the normal gel 14. the wing mirrors also are a bit different we have our high and low beams we have our passing light here we also have our horn our indicators but on this side let me just show you we have an engine kill switch we have hazard lights and we have our engine start button. Everything here, the buttons, everything here in terms of buttons somehow feel more premium. Not just by the way they look, but the clicking noise. Everything just feels more premium when you press it. It feels more solid, it feels more sturdy, more well built, it looks better. Everything is just better. In terms of dash, let's get you in there. So we have a rev counter, speedometer, fuel gauge, our warning lights, our odometer, trip meter, oil meter. We have our voltmeter and our clock. Now the main difference of the Jet X from the normal Jet is the hump in the middle. Now this wasn't a complete redesign and it still uses the frame from the Jet 14. So everything that's housed in this hump is just the battery. Because if we look under the seat, it's the normal one helmet storage space with the gas cap and the fuel tank under the seat. Also the Jet X has a pretty decently sized cubby hole here and we have keyless go now the thing is you have to unlock it every time you get to the scooter you unlock it and then you can use this as a key now the thing is there's also another way you can start it say your key fob runs out of battery or you want to open the seat but uh, the battery on the scooter is dead even though the battery is here, but let's say you want to open the seat. If you look here, if you press on this tab and pull, we have a key. If we go here, if we go here, 
raise this up, pull it back. Now we can fit our key here and we can turn it on. It can work as a normal ignition with a normal key. And you can even start the scooter. Real nice. This is the first sim with a keyless entry that also has a fail safe for the keyless system. This is awesome, I really like it. In the back, we have the same 110 section rear tire on a 14 inch rim as on the Jet 14. A halogen number plate light, this is because of regulation. A full of array of LED rear light and brake light and also LED signal lights, which are very, very bright as the front ones, the rear ones are very bright as well. In terms of comfort, it doesn't differ very much from the Jet 14. We have a bit of a different process of getting on it. But sitting here, you recognize the seat, you recognize the handlebars, you notice the nicer buttons, and you also feel a little bit different because they're a bit higher up. And also, you recognize this, the way your legs feel because it's just a little bit different. The main difference is if you wanna keep your legs down low, you have only this position. There's nothing you can put in the middle because we don't have a flat floor. But when you extend them out, the fairing comes to meet you. So you have almost uh, an even more maxi scooter experience than on the regular Jet 14. But we'll talk about more, we'll talk more about the differences as we take it for a spin. Kill switch on. Oh yeah, in terms of seat height, exactly the same as the Jet. 770 millimeters, and I can flat foot it no problem. Really comfortable. But, let's take it for a spin and see how it rides. Okay, so the Jet X. How is it different from the Jet 14? Well, first impressions, there's a lot more fairing here. It's a lot wider. And that gives a little bit of a different sensation. Plus everything feels more premium somehow. I don't know, it's the way the plastics look. It's the way the buttons look. They, it just feels more premium. Uh, this front windscreen basically does just about nothing. But the way the dash looks also adds to the premium feel of the scooter. In terms of riding position, it's weird. Although I do have this hump between my legs, I actually feel like I have a lot more leg room. I can stretch out a lot more than I can on the Jet 14. The handlebar is a little bit higher. So I sit a little bit more relaxed, more laid back. The chassis is still just as awesome, so you can flick it left to right, fitting the power. The brakes are the same brakes, so just as powerful they stop you but somehow it feels better I don't know it actually does feel like uh, a more expensive scooter it is a more expensive scooter but for about 200 euros difference two or three hundred euros difference depending on the market It does feel it. It does feel like a more expensive proposition. Plus you get the keyless entry, keyless go, which is nice. It really does impress people if you're into that sort of thing. I honestly don't mind if it has keyless, if it has a key. But for some people that matters.
the power is the same the engine is the same the same rev happy engine but somehow it it feels better it feels like now the jet 14 does feel flickable but this somehow feels a, a little bit more that just just that little bit more sporty maybe it's it has something to do with this hump here because you can hold it by your legs and you can throw it from side to side and you feel you have a little bit more confidence with it plus the way the fairing looks the sensation it gives you you still don't feel like you sit in it you still feel like you sit on it but it's just that much nicer it's a nicer place to be than it is on the jet 14 the seat is the same so you don't feel a difference in your ass the rear suspension is the same but the point of contacts the buttons here they feel a lot more premium they feel nicer to the touch when you look down to look at your speed you're looking at that really nice futuristic dash it's it's quite impressive that two scooters that have the same basic chassis can actually feel and give you completely different sensations this feels closer to a motorcycle because I have something between my legs I can hold on to it with my legs the handlebar is a little bit higher I like that so is it worth the extra money well if you don't mind the lack of a flat floor and if you can swing it with the extra 200 euros yeah riding them back to back now it's totally worth it it's totally worth the extra money that you have to pay to get the jet the jet x plus it looks way cooler and i mean way cooler i mean the jet 14 is a good looker don't get me wrong but this this looks really really nice it looks so mean so aggressive so angry and the power the power is there as i said the engine is nice and the brakes full on abs the brakes really as on all sims sims it, sim is is characteristic by their strong brakes they always put strong brakes on every scooter they make but that has been it for the jet x hope you enjoyed it like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and until next time take care out there everyone and ride safe goodbye <laughs>